Hey guys, probably the most commonly heard complaint about resin printing is that it's messy, particularly when it comes to cleaning and curing prints. So when Anycubic asked me to review their wash and cure machine, I was quietly hopeful. Anything that makes the process simpler has got to be good. But does it work and is it worth the money? It's certainly a nice looking machine and whilst it's very early days, reviews are promising. After a typically well packaged box was unwrapped, I have to say it looked just as nice in real life. Stripped to its minimum, it oozes the quality we expect from any cubic. This base is nicely constructed heavy metal with a highly intuitive touchscreen display. There's a long line of UV emitting LEDs and a couple of sturdy fixing brackets at the top. Absolutely nothing about this machine is flimsy. There's a large container to house the cleaning solution and this has a small propeller at the bottom. Sensibly there's no holes at the bottom that might encourage leaks. Instead they've made use of magnets to drive the propeller. There's also some spares, just in case. Along with the expected drip tray, there's a couple of brackets and these can very cleverly support the build platform. You can imagine the scenario. You've just finished printing and even after dripping for a while, everything is still covered in resin. So with this, both the build plate and the print can be washed at the same time. I really do like the idea. It's good practical thinking. The only problem I see is that the underside of the print remains covered in resin and so does the build plate. So personally, I'll remove the prints. For something to print, I turn to David Eastman's fabulous work on my mini factory and I strongly urge you to do the same. What amazing talent David has. The basket rests securely on these dedicated brackets. I'm using IPA, but you could use your preferred cleaner. This is quite a large print, so I'll give it 6 minutes. But hang on, nothing's happening. Why? Well again I like this. It's a useful safety feature. The cover needs to be in place for the propeller to spin. It reduces the risk of splashing. I hope you can see that the propeller creates an energetic vortex, a whirlpool if you like. This then spins the IPA round and round very quickly, constantly washing over the face of the print. Whether you choose 2, 4 or 6 minutes, halfway through the wash cycle, the propeller stops and reverses direction. Another very clever touch. With the cycle complete, the drip tray can be pulled free and given a little shake. And here comes my first criticism. What a shame any cubic didn't think to include a bracket here to hold the basket in a drip position. It would have been a very simple inclusion. Instead the basket has to be carried wet and dripping. Paper towels are therefore a must whilst you wait for the print to air dry. Now is the time to place the airtight lid on top of the container to prevent any accidental spills or annoying loss of IPA through evaporation. If you're impatient like me, rather than wait, a hairdryer on a cool setting blasts away the IPA very quickly. And look at that, no shiny spots of leftover resin. The wash cycle really did a very thorough job. No matter what I do with my usual arsenal of washing products, including an ultrasonic cleaner, there always seems to be some resin residue left behind. 
but not here. UV curing is equally easy. This detachable turntable is pushed into position, the print placed on top and the controls gently tapped. I think six minutes will be good for this. The same safety feature prevents the LEDs from coming on until the UV shielding cover is placed on top. And now it's just a matter of waiting. It's not soft or sticky. It looks like the UV cure was equally successful. And that's a nice looking print. Whilst it still needs a little tidying up, it is without doubt the easiest washing and curing session I've had so far. It was an absolute doddle. No annoying and messy faffing about, the Anycubic wash and cure machine did all the work for me. Now come on guys, it's me. There's always got to be a but. Whilst everything I've said so far is absolutely true, the cleaning process isn't over. The container is now filled with dirty IPA, and that really shouldn't be left alone. Even if the container were UV shielded, which it isn't, residue is likely to form at the bottom of the container, where it could clog the bearings on the propeller. That means after use, you ideally need to empty the container and maybe give it a nice wipe down with some paper towels. Personally, thanks to a tip I've been given by a fellow YouTuber, I pour my used IPA into an empty plastic bottle. I then just place this on the windowsill and ignore it. The unreacted resin reacts with the daylight and sets to the sides of the bottle. Residue falls to the bottom, and in a few days, the whole content can be finely filtered and clean IPA is ready to reuse. The plastic bottle will survive dozens of similar sessions, and when you're eventually done with it, just throw it in the sea or something. Just kidding, just kidding. Dispose of it sensibly, please. Just go careful when emptying the container. Its rounded corners mean easy spills, where squarer corners would have made for better natural pouring spouts. So, as I'm picking floors, would I do similar to this American gent? Would I give it five stars? Absolutely I would. It's an excellent wash and cure machine that makes a formerly fiddly job much quicker and easier. The quality is obvious, it's quiet in use and it does exactly what it says it can do. And it does it well. Now I can't talk about price, it's simply unfair to. What one guy considers to be a bargain, another considers to be a fortune. So you'll need to draw your own conclusions there. But I will say this. If you think the Anycubic is expensive, take a gander at our friends at Formlabs. Now it may be somehow that the Formlab machines do a better job, maybe they give a back massage at the same time or something, but based on the performance I've seen from this Anycubic, I can't see how they could be any better. So there you go guys, the Anycubic wash and cure machine. It's exactly the sort of high quality product we'd expect from Anycubic. I hope you enjoyed this review guys. As always, if you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. So take care and thanks for watching.